This is part two of the group pressure study review. If you haven't seen part one, please go watch it so this video makes sense. Below are examples of amateurs in the exact same study in order by handicap as seen on the right hand corner of the graphs. There are a few points, but the main takeaway is that the max group pressure happens after impact rather than before. We discussed in part one how the professional released group pressure through impact. All of the amateurs, even the plus two, increased group pressure through impact. To me, this implies that their whole swing is based on a hit concept rather than a swing and release. Think trying to pop a towel rather than hammer a nail. If we look at all of the participants in the study, every single one of them followed this trend. A few of them reached total max group pressure before impact, but all of them increased their right hand group pressure through impact, meaning they were trying to hit the ball with their right hand. Which makes sense since most of us are right handed. To me, this is a key difference between amateurs and professionals, and explains why professionals have such effortless looking swings but create so much speed at impact. At some point in their life, they were able to intuitively figure this out. Please visit golfsmissingpiece.com to learn how our training day can revolutionize your swing. Thank you. Happy golfing.